What's going on, guys? Have a box coming in a couple days ago. All like sniper EFI kit with 67272 trucks. Uh, I got this from a, a Holly dealer. Uh, we'll jump in and show you what we got. Kind of coming here and open the box up, but we'll jump in and uh, show you what we got. This is our tank and pump kit. The steel tanks are kind of heavy. Picture of what's on this box shows you what kind of pump and everything is in it. It's all came from Molly. There's a fuel pump sending unit. Or here's the sending unit. Excuse me. This is the well, this is the actual Holly sniper. Well, this is a Wolverine pump. It would be a Holly sniper pump, but right there, or bro, made in the USA, America. All the bald eagles in this dude. Uh, this is the pump. Here is the, the pump and everything attached to the sock. Come with some zip ties. I guess you zip tie the pump to the instructions. This is the sock that goes around the pump. Uh, power and ground for the pump, I guess. Return, supply, vent. This is a filler neck that bolts to the tank. This is it's going up through a wood bed floor because the GMC's got a wood floor, so I'm going to have to purchase a uh, door. But this is the tube that connects to the top of that. Runs up to a door. Uh, cork gaskets, bolts. Bolts got O-rings on them. And a, uh, a vent. I think this comes apart where you could drill wherever you want, frame or whatever, and uh, place it wherever you'd like. Force instructions. And I think this is the sending unit. <laughs> It says tan GMC, but now that's a blue GMC. What the heck? <laughs> Sending unit. It. It's got a plastic ball on the end of it. You can adjust the height of it, height of it, and then pull this out. I guess this is in there just to keep it straight. Pull this out, measure your depth of your tank, stick this in there, and then you can adjust the height from the bottom of the tank. I believe this is a zero, yeah, zero to 90 ohms. This all comes from Holly, but I'll show you another thing in a second. Yeah, show you how to put it in. But I'll uh, kind of grab the tank. I mean, this comes from Holly, but see what the tank says? Tanks. So, you can go to tanksinc.com and purchase the same tank, but I do believe right now they're on stock till the end of the year for that. So, I, I went to Holly, found the Holly dealer, and got it a little cheaper. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason I went that way, and I had it a few days later. And uh, let's kind of jump in, and uh, we'll put some of this together real quick. Let's hop in and uh, put it together. We'll uh, slap the pump on it. It's kind of funny, this is a hollow sniper kit. You'd think they would use their sniper pumps with the kit, but who knows? It's also got a check valve in the pump. Need that. Sock. There's that. It just. Heated it up for a little bit and it slid right on. Well, let's kind of align this this uh, fitting where it comes straight up to it. 
That is a. Uh oh. Forgot to put the uh, sock over the. Uh, But the thing is, get you a pocket screwdriver and this in tank sock popped right off. There you go. On there. You're gonna do this, do it easy. Don't just run it home because you'll strip this out or break the knot neck off of this pump because this neck is plastic. Kind of snug it there for time being. That's uh, what it looks like, kind of. So, I want you to get it nestled up like this and then uh, tighten this clamp. I kind of snug it up like I just did there and then get you a screwdriver just make sure it's tight which it is and then where they go come with two zip ties what I'm gonna do is oh these some cool zip ties check those out never used any like this before so Kind of see how it's got this running down. It's cut kind of a 45 there, right above the sock and everything. That's kind of how I did mine. So, right like an ant. So, what I did is this one in a star pattern. It's about a half a turn each. On each one, like they essentially haven't got tight, but that is uh, the fuel pump installed. I aim it to this direction because my fuel rail is on the uh, driver's side, so I'll come out of here, run on the frame, and up. But uh, that is that installed. We'll, uh, we'll jump over here and put the filler uh, neck on. This right here, see, you got your return and your supply, and then this is again, like I showed you earlier. We need some hose up above the tank somewhere. There's a, there's a cross member that sits in front of this, so I'll probably run it up, drill a hole in that cross member somehow, and uh, put this in it. This sounds like it's got a one-way vent, one-way valve in it, so in case of a rollover, it closes off and don't let fuel out. I'm going on to the filler neck. It's a bed fill for the filler neck. It's got a uh, rubber hose that runs up to your bed, bed floor. I'm going to have to pick up a, a uh, gas door. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. My truck's got a wood floor bed, so when I'm going back with wood, so I might figure out some gas door. At the moment, it's kind of woodless. <laughs> when I had it cut down, the wood was rotten in it. I wish I could have kept it because it had a cool patina to it. It was actually, I guess they painted it blue from the factory. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, you got your bolts with your, your O-rings on it and then your cork gasket. It's kind of easier just to shove them all in before you, uh, I'll figure that out when I've done this one. Kind of shove them all in before you get it uh, on there. It's easier to line it up. Then you can just kind of go around and get started. Let's get the Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to do this one the same way. I've done the, uh, the other one, just star pattern. Until they're tight. You want to put your here this is guys so you want to put your gasket on before you go to working on your rod here because as you can tell you can't get your gasket on once you do it 
So it wants you to be an eighth inch below this part with the gasket. And once you get this set where you need it to be, come down here and cut off the excess of this rod so it ain't uh, binding up in the tank. So this is what I did. I just got a cut off wheel, zipped it off right there. And uh, that is my uh, tank level cinder. Well, that is the tank put together, guys. Uh, here pretty soon we'll be uh, putting it in the truck. This uh, tank's tank is really pretty good quality. You can see where it's stamped together. It's got a, a paint job on it. I guess you could repaint it. It's kind of like a normal gas tank finish. This is the hose they brought, they sent with it. They don't send no clamps or nothing with it. I don't know why that is, but. And then there is your, I carved the G, the G in there for ground, so I don't forget when I go to put it together. And there's the mounting flanges. You just drill your own holes. Pretty much a straightforward gig there. I'm ready to put it in and get it, uh, get, get the truck going. I will uh, see you guys on the next one. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it and please subscribe.